Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here. Well, a lot of people have been asking my assessment over Russia, America, what's going on with the Syrian bomb attack and everything of that nature. So I've got a huge report, but for starters, I want to share that the Russian people are, or the Russians are telling their people to prepare as in have food and water on hand while America is not. And ultimately the end game of the entire thing, I believe is to have so much bloodshed and so much war that we're forced into some sort of global governance. That is the end game of the progressive, of the left, of the Democratic Party, no longer a Democratic Party, might I add, the Democratic Party doesn't exist, but this is the end game of the globalists that they're trying to get us into and almost forcing our hand. Now, for those of you who maybe haven't heard, I'm sure all of you have, I'll go give a quick assessment, but about 200 people have died in Syria on the outskirts of Damascus, which is interesting, if you study Bible prophecy, because in, an, on, in Isaiah 17, one, it says Damascus will no longer be a city, but it, it will be a ruinous heap. This is in Isaiah 17, one, and it's a prediction of the future state of Damascus. And here we are uh, on the outskirts of Damascus and Damascus itself is already somewhat becoming that ruinous heap, if you will, but the prophecy is coming true to the T. It's coming to fruition and it's interesting to see that but that's just a side note but now we have about 200 people who have died in the area due to uh the the bomb attacks or the attacks from united states france and britain gathered together and struck against them in response to uh supposed chemical attacks that were blamed on assad just a side note here key word there blamed on assad uh we already know that there's three forces there fighting. We have the rebels, we have the ISIS, and we also have the Assad regime. So three different players there in Syria. Well, right now, uh, they're blaming the chemical attacks on Assad, which many of us already know, if you're aware of false flags and all you guys are, that it's likely the rebels and not Assad. But either way, Assad is taking the hit for it. Um, even though I am, a, I am like 99% sure Donald Trump is well aware uh, that it is the rebels doing this. So his exact uh, reason for doing that, I'm unsure of at this moment, but he's playing the political game, if you will. But we know that the rebels have done it in the past, and I believe they did it this time. It's a false flag. That's an opinion. That's uh, what I believe happened. So here we have the rebels igniting it again because they're the ones with the motive. They want to get Assad out. That's their motive. But you have to remember that a lot of the rebels have been infiltrated by ISIS. So that's why when we give weapons to the rebels, they get in the hands of ISIS. So we're in a sense arming ISIS, something that our CIA has admitted to, something that has been going on for quite some time. And if they take out Assad, and I don't like Assad personally, I don't like him at all. Uh, but who gets in after him is the question, and that could be a very scary thing. Think of what happened with Gaddafi. Well, here we go, round two in Syria. So lots of things are heating up, and that's just a quick background, but let me throw some reports at you uh, just to get us on gear. Here's a report. This one is from webnewsorder.com. The Russians are being instructed to prepare for Armageddon as a result of what happened uh, there in Syria, as a result of all of that, they're being instructed to prepare. Uh, and you can see the report goes on to state that Russia State TV is broadcasting instructions for survival in a bomb shelter, telling people if you can go to a bomb shelter, if you can do this, this is something you wanna do. It also details have two and a half quarts of water, two to three weeks of food. If you can have a bomb shelter, then you need one. So these are all important things uh, that they're broadcasting. But here's another report. This one's on Zero Hedge. Michael Kruger, creator of Liberty Bliss Funds, fears Friday's missile strikes mark the official start of World War III. Now, the report goes on to detail that Russian leadership are not a bunch of fools, nor are they going to back down. After Friday night, they know for certain the U.S. empire is determined to castrate them globally at all costs in order to impede and inevitably the emergence of a multipolar wind. I don't think Russia or Iran will respond with a shock and awe attack anytime soon nor will this likely spiral out of control in the near term. It's more likely we'll see this all play out over the coast for the next five years or so. I also don't expect this to go nuclear, but I think the chances of the U.S. Ex 
experiences an impartial collapse similar to that of the USSR and has become in increasingly likely. My view at this point is the US and its global power position will be so dramatically altered in the years ahead, it will be unrecognizable by the year 2025 as a result of both economic decline and major geopolitical mistakes. This will cause the public to justifiably lose, justifiably, excuse me, lose faith in leadership and institutions. Now keep that date in mind, 2025. Where does that ring a bell? Daigle.com. Daigle.com predicts futures in 2025 of the numbers here in America going down to, I believe, 34 or 35, 36, somewhere around their million from the 320 some odd million we are at now. So they're, you know, having a significant decrease in our population here in America. Uh, where are we all going to go? Well, it's interesting that this same report also brings up 2025. So just something else to think about. Now, here's another report. This is on the Times of Israel to give you the latest on it. But And it's titled, Bracing for Iran Missile or Drone Strikes, IDF, the Israeli Defense Force, reveals Iranian targets in Syria. Now, this report goes on to state that ahead of Israel's Independence Day, the military was preparing for the possibility of direct attack by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps Air Force in response to airstrikes on Iran's air base, uh, air base in Syria earlier this month, the Times of Israel has learned. In an apparent effort to deter Israel, media was provided by the IDF with a map on Tuesday showing five Iranian-controlled bases in Syria, which would apparently constitute potential targets for an Israeli response should Iran carry out any kind of attack. Hmm. So there is kind of the latest on what's going on. We have Israel, we have Iran, we have America, we have Russia, we have Syria, we have um, all these players in it, uh, France, Britain, uh, all these key players, we're seeing countries forming alliances, uh, countries forming alliances with each other against us. We have uh, Russia, China on one side. We have North Korea supposedly making peace with South Korea. Uh, who knows? I don't even know what's going on there or if that's just a, a facade in and of itself. But you want to know the ultimate end game? Here it is. America is being used, I believe, to provoke war uh, to the point that people of the world will beg for world government, that they will beg for global government. That's what I do not want. But because of that, or they're going to beg us uh, because of so much bloodshed. It's crazy the things that are happening. Uh, but imagine a world where we're in another World War III. Whether they're not, whether or not they want to call it World War III, that's what's happening. We're setting off bombs. This is not the first time we've set bombs off in response to a chemical attack that was supposedly Assad's fault, right? It's not the first time. We've done it before. Uh, but there's bombs going off in Israel and between uh, what, the Middle East. There's bombs going off. <laughs> we're sending bombs off. All kinds of things are in play. So I believe we're already in World War III and we've got that trigger point. And, uh, you know, so many players, what's going to happen? I just don't know. This is, again, why I encourage you to get prepared, be prepared, stay prepared. Um, but with that, don't forget to check out my partner at TradeGeniusAcademy.com right now in volatile markers like volatile markets like we're in right now because war will lead us into a lot of, of volatility economically. Make sure you're stable before it hits the fan. And he has an academy that teaches you exactly how to do this. He's got 50% off right now at the link below. So tradegeniusacademy.com. Use the code HAVEN to get that 50% discount. Anyhow, I'd love to get your thoughts, comments, and concerns. What do you think uh, is going on? I, I, I told you my kind of thoughts on that. I'd love to get your uh, thoughts and concerns. So please leave those below and subscribe to the channel and share it on all your social media outlet. Well, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.